welcome to this new video i know it has been very long time i've been very busy with many other things but it was time to make a new video because of the situation uh, you probably have seen the news there is the conflict between russia and ukraine and regardless of what you think about that what i want to discuss in this channel is how can we I would not say profit because it doesn't sound right to speak about profits in this situation, but at least to hedge because the war is already showing that probably the commodities are increasing in price even more and the gas, you know, all the implication of the Russia situation. So what I want to do today is to discuss some of the things that I share in my previous video and also give you some other ideas. If you remember in November, I think it was end of November last year, I made a video where I say that commodities and gold were quite interesting. Of course, I didn't have the crystal ball, I didn't know the war was coming. But at that time, if you look at the chart, this is the DBC, the ETF I suggested and is tracking commodities we were around this level end of november so around here right and now see what happens the price is my god this uh, l let's see how how much from here yeah it's more than 27 percent in these three months, it went up more than 27%. Now, of course, this is because of the uncertainty, the war, the commodities, the prices are going up. But regardless, the trend was still going up. You see, if you if you check from even from the 2020, the trend of commodities was clearly going up. That's why at that point, I suggested you buying and it turns out it was even better than expected for the wrong reason again i'm not saying that it's good that this conflict is happening because it's more important to have peace rather than to have profit at least for from my point of view however what we should ask ourselves is okay we know that the prices of gas for example of oil are going up that means we are probably like to spend more in the monthly bill and so on so how can we edge and one way to edge is really to buy this etf now the price is to be quite parabolic so i will wait a retracement as, at, at this point is too far already from the moving averages if you if you watch some of my previous video i say that when the price is going parabolic like that is not really a good time for buying we should wait for a retracement to the moving average and then we can maybe enter what about gold gold was the other one i mentioned so if you look at gold you see that uh, around november where we where we made that video we were in this area and now it went up as well so if you want to know how much let's say that we were around here is our six percent let's say six percent not as good as commodities but still okay so gold is another one of these assets that in times of uncertainty is probably a good option to have and again it seems it's going also kind of parabolic not as much as tbc but i will still wait for a retracement at this point because you see here there is also some kind of Re potential resistance level like the 37 something i would like to see either the candle opening and closing above this level to have more confidence that uh, that level was passed but i would even more prefer to see the price going closer to one of the key moving averages so the question is okay are we too late well no I think the price of gold and commodities will still go up. Uh, we still need to wait for a small retracement, in my opinion. However, I want to share with you two other ideas that you may consider given the current situation. And the number one is another ETF. This one. Okay. This is 
rare earth strategic metal ETF. So if we look at the ETF DB, you see here that this is giving you an exposure to a basket of metals, for example, and other things through securities that are involved in mining, refining, blah, blah, blah. Why this is interesting to me? Because if you look at Russia, Russia is one of the main producers and one of the countries that export the largest amount of metals. And if you consider that they started to put sanctions, you can expect that their exportation will have a slowdown. That means the offer will be going down. That means the demand will not be fulfilled so easily and this will probably drive the price up so my idea is okay looking at the chart it seems that the price is kind of not really in a great trend there is here some support level it seems it's going down around here but this is one of the situations where we are not too late i may put some money actually i did already I put some money in this ETF again with the expectation that if Russia is going to have all these sanctions for a while, this may have an impact on the price of metals as well. And since they are exporting a lot and this ETF is tracking that sector, this may be interesting. The last one I want to share with you is more risky and is actually Russia itself. So there are ETFs for example, this one, not surprisingly, from 50 something after the war and all the sanction, you see the price basically went down by, I don't know what this is, 80%, 90% by a lot, right? So from the top, now we are down, yeah, 90%, almost 87, 88. So what is the idea here? If you think that Russia can go default and fail because of this sanction? Okay, fine. But if you think it's not the case and then eventually they will recover, then what I will do, I will wait this panic selling to end. And when I see some kind of reversal, I may enter a small position first and then maybe add more. What is the idea here? That when this is over, if the price is going up, to the previous level this is like uh, potentially something like eight ten times more okay so it's a risky bet because you say hey maybe i put there a few thousand dollars fine i may lose everything if really there is a default and bankrupt of russia and and you know they they are not able to recover but if you believe that they can recover and they will then you can potentially have a 10 times gain so the risk reward to me if you if you can invest a sum that you are accepting to lose is not bad and this is one of the opportunities that i wanted to share so to recap russia but only wait when the situation will stabilize and you see some kind of reversal for now you see still dropping 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 this other etf we are not late yet and again, the idea is that probably there will be an increase of this as well, the price of metals and so on, that they are used by everyone to produce everything. So it's not that you say, hey, we, we don't need iron, we don't need um, the metal. No, you need them to create everything, right? So it's quite important. And probably since Russia is one of the main producer, anything that you do to Russia will have an impact on the price. And again, wait for the gold at this stage i will wait for a retracement to one of the moving rep averages and dbc as well wait for a retracement i will say if you follow the indications in my video in end of november last year i'm very happy i think you made a, quite a good profit if not remember this opportunities in the market always appear and disappear is not because you miss one that you will have no other opportunity so don't let the fear of missing out drive your decision realize that we are in this situation right now and check the stocks 
check this channel i will do my best to put videos more often as you know i'm switching from a, from a trading to a more long-term investing style but when there are opportunities like that i think it's worth discussing making a video so that you guys can also profit hopefully or if not at least use the market to hedge against the increase of price that you will probably start to see in the bill in the gas when you go to the gas station uh, you know that you have seen already that uh, there is a lot of uncertainty about uh, what russia will do with the gas supply so i think it's very likely to see a trend like that continuing for for a few weeks months potentially with that, I thank you for watching this video. If you have any comments, any suggestion, feel free to write. Put a like if you like it. Share if you think that other people can find this useful. And as usual, see you next time.